everyone welcome back to my craft room if you're new to my craft room then welcome happy Friday everybody I got out early today to the Dollar Tree uh, pretty much right after they opened I actually got a front row parking spot and I got in there and I got out of there before it got too crowded so that was great um, so I grabbed a few food items not too much here I grabbed some of the um, Lance the Captain wafers here the cream cheese and chives you get six packs in here and it has four crackers in each one and I really like these these are my favorite favorites and then this week I decided to pick up a pack of the peanut butter ones for something different and same thing you get six with four crackers each in here too and they're very good can't complain about them. I think has been another jar of the jalapeno slices these are his favorite jalapenos out of any ones I've found anywhere and he absolutely loves them I can't tell you how good they are because I don't eat jalapenos they don't like me so, um, but he swears by these, and these are 11.5 ounce jar, and he must have at least seven jars now, but like I said, he uses it on everything, and I'm not even kidding, um, except maybe cereal. I don't think he uses it on cereal. That would be nasty. But he does use it on pretty much everything. And then I grabbed two more of these. I got the cheddar and broccoli and the chicken flavored of the Noors. Um, these are great just to have on hand. They cook in seven minutes, which is wonderful when you want something really quick and like a lot of people tell me they add different things to it to make a really nice meal out of them so the sky's the limit with those you could do all kinds of stuff you want to throw some chicken in there or whatever and then I got another jar of the honey roasted nuts that I like um, I just about got my other one gone so I try only to buy one at a time because I would eat these like crazy and these last for a long time these don't expire until 2022 in June so that's great but trust me, they won't be here by the end of this month. And then I picked up some of these Godiva chocolates. I thought these were cute. And these were cute. Why do I say that over candy? Um, I thought these would be cute to put into a gift basket is what I'm trying to say. And um, so these are the dark chocolate ganache hearts. And these, I think, are probably going to be wonderful. I don't know if I've tried these before. But I did pick up two of those. And I also picked up two of the milk chocolate with the caramel in it but somehow I only made it home with one um, I don't know what happened you guys probably know but I you know they're really good that's all I can say is these are really really good and then as far as Christmas stuff I picked up a few things in the Christmas section there's nothing really new that I found or that I haven't been able to find but I did get some more I love their um, ribbons and things and all their little embellishments they have this year. They're really pretty. Um, this says it's for craft, gift bows, scrapbooks. You can use this for all kinds of things. And you get three yards on here, and it has like the red sequins in it, and it's like on a pretty scallop, like a, a ribbon. It's really nice. I got a lot of their um, ribbons this year. They were so pretty. So I got that to put away. I'm probably gonna stick that away for next year. And then I got two of these. I thought this ribbon was real pretty. And these are like the 5 8 inch ribbon. Um, you get three yards on here. And I thought that was pretty just with like the gold point setters on it. Not too flashy, just something really, really pretty to put on something. And then I got this one here. It has just snowflakes. I love the red and the gold. I think that's just a really classy look. And then I got, this one has like candy canes and candy on it. It's done just in the gold too, so I really like that. So I'm going to put these away till probably for next year. Um, I, I swear I'm going to start doing my Christmas crafts earlier next year. Everybody was thinking I was not starting it like in October. But I still didn't get half of the things done that I wanted to get done. And then I grabbed some more of these bells. These I want to put away too. Um, I thought I had some of these little bells. I can't find them. I know I have some of this size and a little bit bigger. But for like ornaments and things, the little ones are really nice. And you get 32 bells in here. And this one has 50. And these are the little ones that I want for like to do on Christmas ornaments to give them a little jingle. So, you know, these things can be quite pricey like at a craft store. If, I was amazed at how much they charge for like a bag of bells at, um, some of these other places and maybe they have a little cheaper ones at Christmas time if you want to buy them any other time of the year they're quite pricey and then I found these I haven't seen these before these are little light lights or like little poinsettias and I was so happy when I lit this up to find that it does not flash it doesn't change colors it is just this pretty little 
poinsettia flower. Isn't that cute? And when you put it like to the side, it's like just the tips of it are lit up red. I think that would look pretty. I don't know if you can quite see it better if I put my hand over it here. But they're, yeah, they're really pretty. Whoops, I need to turn that off, don't I? There we go. Yeah, all their other ones seem to like flash and do all kinds of color changing and stuff. So I thought that was really cool that it just stays a nice red. And then I picked up a Santa hat. Um, I wanted to do something with one of these last year, and I didn't really like the ones they had. And I don't know, maybe I just didn't find them at my Dollar Tree. But these are really nice. They're a real nice, like, fleece um, Santa hat. And the other ones were kind of a, I forget what kind of material they were last year. It has this nice big white pom-pom on the top. So, we'll see. It's getting close to the end here. I'm so sad. I'm going to miss doing my Christmas decorating. I love it. But, whatever. We'll do it again next year. And then these were new. I haven't seen these before. I thought these were pretty cool. They have just these little signs you can stand up. And this says, Adventure is Calling. And, it, you know, it looks like it has a card slid down into it, but it, it doesn't come out or anything. I think it's, like, painted on there. But I liked it just for this piece alone. I may have to do something with that. I don't know. We will see. And this one says, Don't Quit Your Daydream. And I thought that was a really cool saying, too. And I like the color of this wood grain they have on here. Now these, I was really excited to find these when I actually they had these in a big cart outside, you know, right outside the doors of the Dollar Tree. They had these really nice men's belts. I don't know if you guys have seen any of these at your Dollar Tree. I've never seen these before, but they had a ton of them there. And it says the re well, that one says it's reversible. This one does not. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice that. But I got these in a few different sizes. I got a couple for my husband, and I figured if any of my grandsons want one or if they need one for anything, I mean, for a buck. I mean, they're really nice. Of course, they're not real leather or anything, but they look like it, and some of them even smell like it. I don't know if they scent them or what they do. But, um, yeah, I thought these were great for a dollar. So I got one of those. Oh, this one here says it's reversible. I didn't even notice that. Oh, the other one does, too. Oh, yes, you can either wear this on the black side or the brown side. Well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Getting these all over. Let me wind it back up here. Yeah, see, it reverses to brown. And they had all different sizes. They had big sizes. They had small sizes. They had, like, a giant, I don't know, it was probably, like, three, four feet tall of just bins of belts. So keep your eye out. If you know anybody that, you know, goes through belts like crazy, um... So yeah, I got like, I don't know what I get, four or five of these? I don't know. But we're going to put those away in case somebody needs them. And let's see, in the Craft Your Square section, I picked up these pretty pink beads. I just thought those were really nice. I like to use these sometimes just as like fillers and something too. They look pretty. And you get 120 in there. They're just plastic beads. But I thought those were really nice. And what else did I get in the Craft Your Square section? I got this twine. What are they calling it here? Just Maker's Twine. It's like the Baker's Twine. Um, but this is great like to if you want to hang like tags or something off of it or use it for like... I like to use this for my um, junk journals that I make when I put them together. You know, to tie on the spine to hold your pages in or whatever. Um, but this stuff works right. It's just the right size. So you get 69 yards of that. And they had all different colors. I did take... <clears throat> excuse me. I did take a few pictures. I don't remember if I took the ones of all these different colors. But I saw a few things that I thought was great, and I didn't pick them up, but I did take a few pictures I'll put at the end of the video. And what else did I get in Crafter Square? Not too much new there, either. I did pick up these words. I thought these were cool because they have the holes in them if you want to hang them. And this one says Family. I think I picked up two of those. And I really love these. These are nice. They're like the galvanized words. And these are really big. They gotta be at least over a foot long. Well, let's see. Almost a foot long. I was wrong. They're 11 inches by 5.1 inches. So they're a really decent size. So that one says family, and this one says home. And this was the only one they had. Of course it said home. But, yeah, I really like the size of these, and I like that they already have the holes in them, which is really good. And then I picked up these two boxes, which I didn't even realize were different sizes. But I want to do something with these. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to decoupage them and make them look cute as little gift boxes that I want to put a little something in. 
So um, hopefully I'll get to that this weekend. But I didn't even realize they were different sizes. I just grabbed two of these. But I like these because they had the nice flat top where you can, you know, decoupage a nice picture on there or something. And it didn't have like a lot of curves and ridges where you can actually... I want to decoupage the whole box except for the bottom. And then maybe we'll put a little felt or something in there. But I thought this would be really cute to stick a little gift into. And, you know, then I'll have a little keepsake box too. So I grabbed a couple of those. And I think that was it for the Crafter Square section. Yes, it was. They had a bunch of these, and I think these were these actually. I'm pretty sure I took pictures of these. That had all different kinds of sayings on them. This one says, "But coffee, but first coffee, rather." It has a little coffee cup, and then on the back it says, "Back in ten minutes," and it lights up. I thought that's cute. I just liked it for the but first coffee because that's my lo my slogan in the morning. That's for sure. But I thought that was really cool. And they don't flash or anything either, which is wonderful. And it's just called an LED wood sign. But it's got like all kinds of instructions here, I guess. Oh, yes, it does. And warnings. Well, we'll have to see what that is. But I thought that was really neat. I forget what the other ones were. But like I said, I took pictures of them. I think that's it for the decorating stuff. Oh, I grabbed another one of these for my guys. I like to throw these in their lunch boxes to have in case. Um, it's just a three-pack of two capsules of extra strength, etc. That seems to be everybody's go-to. Um, <clears throat> and then these I picked up. It's um, 15 of these salon-quality elastic hair ties. These are really nice. They have like the, the fabric coating on them. You know, so it's not just like a rubber band on your hair. And these are the nice thick ones. They don't get tangled in your hair or anything. So these are great. These 15 of those. And this is something new I haven't seen. I don't know if you guys have seen them. I, something tells me I've seen somebody haul these before and like a while ago. But like I said, our Dollar Tree, sometimes I don't see things that people have hauled for like a year later. But they had these Brillo Basics um, reusable gloves. And I thought these were really nice. And I thought they were so cute because they have like little patterns on them. So when I'm out, like, take my bird cages outside in the spring and summer and hose them off, I will be so stylish in my rubber gloves. But yeah, I thought these were really great. You know, something better than just your basic little yellow gloves. So I got one of these. They had them in this pattern here. And then I got the ones in the, with the pink flowers and things on them. And plus it'll keep your arm dryer up higher too, which is great. And then I got these red and white polka dots here. Oh, the red polka dots. Yeah, so I thought that was really cute. Just something something to make the cleaning process a little more fun. <laughs> All right. And then I, oh, I did find these in the auto section. I haven't found these lately. A lot of my Dollar Trees don't have them anymore. But I went over to my bigger Dollar Tree this time, which is, I don't know, it's like a half an hour away from here. But it's worth the trip. It's a nice big one. I never feel crowded in there. There's, you know... And I went early, so there was, like, nobody in the store. But I love these to do my... I love to use these for snow and stuff in, my, in a lot of my Christmas crafts. And it's just really nice. I've seen people make pillows out of these. They're so soft. They would make a wonderful pillow. But I'm going to put these away, I think, in with my Christmas stuff so I'm ready to go next year instead of having to try to hunt these things down again. And, you know, Dollar Tree, sometimes they don't have the stuff anymore. So I'm ready with that. And then I picked up this pretty vase. I just love the shape of this one. And it's a really big size. And I was going to do something for Christmas on it, but I think I'm going to wait and maybe hold off and do this one maybe for Easter. Because this is a really nice size. I think it would look really pretty with these spring flowers in it with some daffodils and tulips and whatnot. So I'm going to hang on to this one. And we're going to do something with that for the spring. And then I picked up a two-pack of these white plates. Anything white I see as a possibility to decoupage something onto it. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet, but I thought these were nice. Make some kind of a cute little decoration of some sort. But you get two in here. And these are microwave safe. They're actually a pretty decent plate if you wanted to use these in the microwave. They're, you know, they're not really flimsy at all. So I got a two-pack of those. Oh, and last week I was complaining because... They didn't have the Bolero products, but this Dollar Tree had a whole bunch of them. Um, not so much the facial wipes, but they had a lot of different products in the Bolero stuff. They had some bar soaps, and they had like, um, 
some hand lotions and things like that. But this one, I don't think I've tried this one before. This is the watermelon and aloe. It sounds wonderful. So I was really happy to find these. And um, I don't know why I didn't get more than one. But I did. I just picked up one of these because they're getting hard to find. And then Dollar Tree usually has these. And I bought the one with the retinol in it last week. And I bought one that was like a shea butter, which I really like. So I figured I'll try this one out too and see how I like this. Um, it's just the global... Beauty Care, and this is the Collagen Cleansing Cloths um, for all skin types. And you get 30 in there. So the other ones I really like, so I'm going to give these a try too. And that is all that I got at the Dollar Tree this week. I'm sure in another week or two the Valentine stuff will be everywhere um, because, you know, these seasons just get rushed along so quickly. But that is it for my haul for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you all next time. Have a great day, everybody.